Hello everyone. In this short video, I'm going to introduce two notebooks in Microsoft Azure. The first one that I'm going to talk about is on Azure Machine Learning Studio that uh, I have some videos on that about the drag and drop environment. Uh, sometimes you prefer to write your own code in the notebook. So the possibility is available here. I'm going to the data set and I have some data about insurance, cancer data. I want to write some code and analyze them here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose the data set from here. Then at the bottom of the page, as you see, I have the option to open in notebook. That is actually Jupyter notebook that has been connected to the Azure. I'm going to write some R code there. So I'm click on R, it's going to open the Jupyter notebook for me. So that's the one that I have. As you see, is using the Microsoft uh, Azure ML library in R to get a data there. So this is my data. I'm going to connect to my workspace. Uh, this is a coding R. Uh, same as the other notebook, as you see, there are different cells here. I'm able to run it. So I am click on these cells and run it. As you see, same as the other, when it's running, it becomes star and then it give it a uh, run uh, actually number. So it's actually get the data. Now, actually, I'm able to see the data. So there's a data that I have. Uh, I'm also able to write a very uh, simple code to see the data. So that dot, for example, BMI. So I use a uh, box plot. I forget it. T, just run it. So as you see, that also is able to show the visualization. Uh, so your access to the totally good environment is not like Databricks that has actually, you can write different language on that, but actually, again, you can write your own code here and access to the data that you have from Azure there and even write some R code to create a web service and put it back there. And as you see, you're able to create a new workspace, delete the one, copy, paste, change the orientation of the cells here. And also, for example, you're also able to put some mark down here. So I said insurance data analysis. So now it actually has the uh, environment of code. I'm going to change it as a markdown or I'm going to change it as a heading so it's kind of the heading for my data so you can actually combine the documentation and also coding in the one environment uh, another way of the using that is going back here going click on the notebook here and create your own so again same as the other module in azure machine learning studio just click on new and you're able to choose a new environment over there. Also, there are lots of other interesting samples that you can look at there. So this is the one notebook that I'm using. Another one that I'm going to talk about that is uh, actually the uh, Azure notebook. So if you just search for Azure notebook, just simple one, you will see that we have a Microsoft Azure notebook here. You will be accessed. This one is connected with your uh, Azure subscription. You're able to access to your My Project. You can create new project, or if there is a project there, you can upload it. So I'm already create a project here. Just going inside that. You're able to upload any file uh, from Python notebook or CSV file from your local computer. As you see, I am uploaded customer feedback as a CSV file and also the house price as a CSV file here to do some machine learning. So it's actually it's going to load the data here. So as you see, this is a CSV file. Yeah. So uh, you can also create different Python code. So there are some code here that you actually you do that you need to for connecting to the azure ml and uh, creating the workspace in the azure environment to kind of support it here and later on you can apply and create the devops tools based on that is actually is to uh, using a configuration so i'm already have one so I'm installed the latest Azure ML SDK there is a notebook one. You're able to 
check your Azure ML version, Azure uh, kind of your notebook there version. You're able to create a uh, kind of access subscription for creating a new workspace and kind of set up the environment very easily writing some couple of code. Then you're able to create a model like this for the Azure ML. So for example, this one for, for the customer feed uh, back prediction and you can easily rename that and use it, kind of run in the code here, and after that, deploy it as the other. So that's also a really good one. Uh, you're able to choose your environment, the version of the Python 2, 3, or 3.6, and is available for everyone. Uh, in the next post, I'm going to show you that, how you can create an end-to-end -end machine learning using the Azure Notebook and create a web service out of that and consume it in other application. Thanks so much for watching this video.